Hello and welcome to my channel, Elky Art. Today I will be painting Jesus on the cross. To do this project, I am using watercolor paper. It's 140 pound. And I am beginning by taping my paper down to a board using masking tape. I am doing this so that my paper doesn't wrinkle when I add lots of water to it. And I also like the white border that it leaves when I am finished. So I am taping my paper down all the way around and then I will be using a Sharpie and watercolor paint. If you're more comfortable starting with a pencil and then doing Sharpie, you can do that. But I'm gonna dive right in with Sharpie marker. To begin, I'm going to make a ground that is very low to the bottom of my page and should be kind of rocky or rough. I'm having it kind of go up in the middle and then down on the sides. Next I'm going to do my best to make a line down the center of my page and it doesn't have to be perfectly straight because this is from a tree and so it's not like it was completely measured so that it was perfect. Um, I'm gonna thicken my line a little bit, but I don't wanna make it too fat because um, it's not a very big piece of paper. So I wanna keep the cross nice and thin. And I'm just trying to widen it a little bit with my Sharpie. Next I'm going to make the horizontal lines and I'm going to put them pretty high up on the cross. Again, I'm starting off with a very, very thin line and then I will make it a little bit thicker. Again, really try not to make it too thick because we're working with a smaller paper. We don't want a super fat cross. And keep it thin enough to kind of keep it in the right scale. If you want to, you can also add a little rectangle on the top for the little sign that says um, that this is Jesus, the King of the Jews. So that's an optional step. I decided to add that to the top of mine. Now I want to walk you through how I would add the body on the cross. So I'm gonna start off with the shoulders and they're just a little bit wider than where the cross is. And then they're gonna kind of go that back down in towards the cross. So it's almost kind of like an upside down triangle. And I'm gonna go ahead and fill that in with my Sharpie is the shoulders kind of down to the waist. Next, I'm going to add the arms by using just a skinny line that kind of bends up towards the edges of the cross. And just like we did with the cross, you can kind of thicken it a little bit um, to make them look more like arms instead of sticks. I'm going to do the same thing on the other side, starting off with a very thin line that bends where the elbow would be. And then I'm going to widen it a little bit to make it look more like an arm instead of a stick coming out of the sides. I'm also adding kind of a slight curve down kind of where like the armpit would be. Next, I'm adding the head, and as you see, there, there's not really um, an area where you see the neck because his head is kind of leaning down. So it's just kind of a slight curve above where the shoulders are, and because the, the cross is in the way, you don't really see a whole lot. I'm going out a little bit at the waist for the hips and filling that in. 
and then I want to make it so that the legs are slightly bent. So I'm starting off going down and then kind of curving back in where the knee would be back in towards the cross. And you can kind of do the same thing on the other side. And then I'm going to fill that in as well. If you want to kind of indicate the feet, you can add just a little bump kind of coming out on the side of the cross towards the bottom and that indicates where the feet are. And then I also wanted to indicate a little bit of the crown of thorns. So I'm throwing in a couple of little spikes up by the head and the clothing that he was wearing, which was just kind of something wrapped around his waist most likely. So I'm adding just a little bit of extra lines here um, along the side to show that he has something wrapped around his waist. So that is the silhouette of Jesus on the cross. The nice thing about using a silhouette is that um, you can keep it pretty simple. Now I'm ready to paint, so I'm using a flat brush and I'm just going to go ahead and fill in my paper with clean water. So I'm going to brush all around the top part of the paper. Notice that because I use Sharpie, I can go right over my Sharpie and it doesn't um, move. It stays still. If you use a Crayola marker, unfortunately, you would have a big black mess when you added the water. So make sure that whatever marker you used was permanent. Next, you can really add whatever colors you want for your sky. Um, I decided I want, wanted some light right behind Jesus. Maybe like the sun was peeking through the clouds or something like that. So um, you can do something like that. Otherwise, you could make the sky um, blues and purples. Um, it did end up getting quite dark um, when he was on the cross, so you could really push those. Um, you could do more of like the after the darkness or after he had already died, and you could add some other colors, almost like a sunset, if you wish to as well. So this is really a personal preference, but you can see as you add the colors behind the silhouette, um, because that paper is wet, it kind of gives them a really soft um, look to the sky and it kind of puts that sky back behind the um, strong lines of the cross. I'm just adding some yellows and blues and I did want to add a couple of uh, purple areas as well. I'm trying not to over brush it. I do want kind of some lights and some darks in places. So I'm trying to kind of lay the paint down and then move on to other parts of the sky. And you can let the paint kind of mix and mingle on the page. And adding some darks kind of along the edges and in the corner. This also kind of frames the cross, making it more, you know, in the center of the picture. I thought there was just a little bit too much yellow, so I'm adding a little bit more purple and kind of making that area a little smaller. Next, I'm using black and I'm going along the bottom of my paper. This time, this is not wet with water. Um, I'm just going in with the paint because I want it to be nice and dark. And you can see that this guy is kind of bleeding into my ground, but I don't mind. It makes it a little bit more interesting. So I'm just trying to kind of fill that in with a lot of paint. If you don't have black, um, a dark brown or dark brown mixed with blue, can make a really nice gray as well. I'm going to let that dry before I do anything else. Um, you can kind of blot at the sky using some Kleenex and that can kind of make it interesting to look at. And then when you're finished, be very careful when taking off your tape. Make sure that you always pull away from your painting 
um, as you lift the tape off and that way it won't rip any of the paint. It also helps to wait until your painting is dry to take off the tape because then you won't um, rip into your painting as well. And there you have the finished piece of Jesus on the cross. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and please come back and visit my channel for more tutorials as well. Blessings on your day. Bye.